Did you come out to anybody yesterday? I come out to people every day, Sarah, but... Yeah. Pillow Talk! Welcome back to Pillow Talk Monday, y'all. Oh, that was good. That Being was really like good. Justin. Today we are uh, discussing the most serious topic we've ever discussed on Pillow Talk. It's a sore spot for some people, I think. Why? Because no one wants to be a baby dyke. A lot of you are wondering, like we, what I always say we get requests daily. I am not exaggerating on this one. Please. Hourly yeah. we get requests or um so it's probably the same person it might be the same person because they're always anonymous because <laughs> they're afraid of you know admitting they're a baby dyke yeah but people want to know am i a baby dyke and they'll give me scenarios so i'm like i don't have time to answer you people i have a life as a former baby dyke but now we do have time got a little we squeezed you in and uh we're gonna give you guys a test it's a quiz if you answer the questions correctly you will know that you are still a baby dyke, so you don't have to ask me anymore. Keep taking the quiz once a week, and then once you no longer <laughs> say yes to these things, It's then... like still Alice when she writes down all those things she wants to remember. Yeah. And then once she forgets, she's too far gone. Take this quiz now, record your answers. In five years, take this quiz again, record your answers. If they are different, you have graduated from being a baby dyke to being a former baby dyke. But if they are yes, I want you to go upstairs in a, a dresser with a blue lamp. You will go in there. In the first drawer, there's a bottle of pills. <laughs> after five years, if you're still a baby dyke, we got bigger issues. <laughs> okay, ready to take this quiz? I'm ready. Number one is do you own, and how many of these do you own snapbacks? How many snapbacks do you own? Three. Okay, well, you know what? That doesn't matter. The, the number is actually irrelevant. What's, oh. what's important is, do you wear them? More importantly, are you wearing it right now? Oh, shit. Number two, how many YouTube channels are you subscribed to? More importantly, how many of those YouTube channels are lesbian couples? If you answer even as low as one. Give yourself a check mark. Yeah, that's a big check mark for you. And the gay women channel doesn't count. No, this doesn't count at all. No. Sorry. Number three, are you team Remy or team Carmi? Trick question. If you even know what the fuck I'm talking about right now, give yourself a check mark. I'm not, it's not looking also, good Also, bonus me. points, if you know what Heidi Doucheface is, uh -oh. you get a half a point. Because that means you watch Faking It Fridays. Number four, what do you do in your spare time? Do you watch girls kiss on YouTube? Do you write fanfic? Do you read fanfic? Do you scroll on Tumblr? I think you know what you should be giving yourself right yeah. now. Big old one of those. Here's a big one. Are you currently in love with your best friend? Ooh. Do you do you go on Tumblr or Ooh. any other sites desperately seeking answers yeah. on what to do or how to woo said best friend. Also, if you know what wooing means, you're probably not a baby dyke. <laughs> so that's good. That's a that's an X for that one. But if you're in love with your best <laughs> friend and you're looking for answers. Two points. Two check marks for you. <laughs> Number seven. Are you kinda shy about your gayness? People ask if you have a boyfriend. And instead of saying, I know I have a girlfriend, you just say, no. No. Kind of uncomfortable about it a little bit. It's a check mark. That's a, yeah. that's a check mark. But on the other side, if you're flip one side. of those, you know. Number eight? Yeah, number eight. The flip side, are you like shoving your gayness down people's throats? Whoa. Where you're just like telling everyone you're gay, really yeah. dressing up. Gay, <laughs> throwing confetti at people. Gay, double snapback. Gay, double snapbacking, double flanneling. Whoa. Gay, you're also a baby dyke. All so right. uh, there's just the two extremes. Anything in the middle, that, not that, a check mark. That one, if you got a check mark though, I think you're an out and proud baby dyke. But still a baby still dyke a baby nonetheless. Dyke. Finally, the last number nine is it? Number nine. Number nine. Are you fucking taking this quiz right now? You knew that was coming. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Don't even tally up the rest. You're a fucking baby dyke. Yeah. You should be ashamed of yourself. 
I am just kidding. It's a transitional period that we all go through. We all go through it. It's like going through puberty. No one really wants to talk about it. Yeah. It's kind of awkward and weird, but we all go through yeah. it. And oh, it yeah. makes us better people in the end. And to just show you guys that we were once like you, follow Gay Women Channel on Instagram. Mm. And we're going to be posting pictures of us as baby dykes. I'm sorry, what? No, I didn't <laughs> I didn't sign up for that. You'll see those photos and then you could see what like sexy former baby dykes you can turn into. So we also wanted to help you guys realize your baby dykeness level for National Coming Out Day. Which was yesterday. Who came out? Did you come out for National Coming Out Day? It's a great time to come out. Now you can come out as a baby dyke. Leave a comment what you scored on this quiz. And, oh, yeah. and if you came out or anyone you know came out yesterday. So October 26th, make sure you check back. And the Almost Adults full trailer is dropping. Is dropping. <laughs> my single, my single is dropping, is dropping. That's all. And we'll see you guys next Pillow Talk Monday. Yeah, you better have gone and see Free Hell, bitches. Yeah. And um, then probably fucking cried your eyes out. Oh my god, I lost three pounds after seeing that movie.